Hey, what's up guys? This is Tall Fry and today we'll be taking a look at the Sentinel Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales clear version. And I know, I know, I have a lot to catch up on. It's been so long since I've uploaded the last time, but now I'm just really trying my best to get something out there for you while I still have the time. And what better way to do it than with a variant of my favorite figure in my collection. So, taking a look at the packaging here, we have that mini window which shows us just a little bit of what this set comes with along with a nice pic of the figure itself and some graphics. At the side, we have some of those alternate pieces that comes with this set on the old Miles figure and at the other side, we have more of that transparent Miles action. At the back, we have another stunning image of invisible Miles swinging through the city. At the top, more into the Spider-Verse, and at the bottom, whoa, very important stuff. So, without any more talking, let's get on to the figure itself. And here he is, the brand new transparent Miles Morales himself. Now, if you check out my other review of the actual Sentinel Miles Morales, you can see that there's not a lot of changes here. The biggest change being, of course, the fact that he's transparent. But like proportion-wise, he's still the same. He's still got those lanky arms and legs. He still has the hips don't lie situation right there. So I will say, even though this thing is meant to come off as transparent, I liked how they didn't make everything just one solid color. They still tried adding a bit of variety in it in the parts that would have been spray painted red. Just like the shoulders, the spider emblem, even down to the bottom of the feet. Even here in the fingers, they managed to color that a different color because on the normal suit that also would have been red and even around the rims of the eyes they are a lighter whitish color i also like how they were able to still implement those textures that we see on the previous suit it's not like super duper invisible like sometimes what we'd see in the movie but it is kind of translucent just like what we see in other shots of the movie and i think it pulls it off well it would look good beside the other Sentinel into the Spider-Verse figures that we have so far. The articulation scheme should be mostly the same. He still can't look up that much compared to the Mafex Miles Morales. Arms can still go out like that. He still has those unique shoulder joints where he can move a good amount in all directions. He has that bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist swivel but still no hinge. Abs can crunch that much, go back that much, go all around just like that and also tilt a very good amount. Kick forward that much, backward that much, to the side that much. Uh, you can also have swivel, double jointed knees, very very good, hinge, rocker, swivel and toe articulation. And then aside from the look of the figure itself, another major difference between the transparent and the normal version of Miles are the accessories. Now a lot of the hands that the clear version comes with are similar to the original. It still comes with alternate grabbing hands, slightly curled finger hands, wall crawling hands, and splayed open hands. And as you can see here, also the web thwip hands, which look really great. I like how they still painted the fingers in a different color consistently and also the webs do look different. On the original version, they were more of a creamy white whereas here they were actually transparent which is a very nice touch. But it does not come with the same number of hands because the other version comes with the spray can hand and the phone swipe hand. It's a little bit less on the hands department but they made up for it because we still have some unique accessories which drew a lot of people into this figure. We still have the alternate head by the way. It's still the same one but still with the different look and it still looks great. Here's a closer look at the alternate web piece he comes with which he can still grab onto by the way and it still has that uh, nice transparent plastic. And going on to the unique parts we have some onomatopoeias right here. So a nice pow and also a nice crack. It looks really great and no doubt that it would look well with any pose that you put Miles in. We have some peg holes here at the back so let's take a look at how it looks on the stand. And that's how the third onomatopoeia which says bye looks on the stand. It's still the basic sentinel stand that came with the last version and the way you do it you just plug it into the corner like that. You don't even need to take out the other clear plastic pieces. So that's looking all good. And looking at the rest of the unique accessories that this set comes with, we have the electric piece. This is something that I was asking for in my last review that I thought really should have come with the figure since that's one of Miles' powers. And now they gladly delivered it to us 
in this other set. <laughs> so it is accurate. It is the nice light blue lightning. That's really cool. And it wraps around Miles' arm just like that. Then also, we get the half-unmasked head. Here's a closer look at that half-unmasked head sculpt, which is something that we saw with the Mafex figure, but not with the Sentinel until now. So yeah, he has like that smirking face where I think it was near the end where he was about to drop Peter into the portal. Say what you will about the expression, but I think it still delivers the art style from the movie perfectly, more than the Mafex. Also, another thing that should have come with the previous Miles, but they included in this transparent one instead, is the unmasked neck. Now, I would have been fine, kinda, with the previous release where the neck was still just for the mask. But having an unmasked neck now makes it all the more better because it does make sense. So yeah, it's good that they're trying to play catch up with the accessories with this newer release. One thing, though, that kind of bothered me was that when trying to remove the neck, it was quite difficult. I did have to heat it up. Not the biggest issue, but they do also indicate it in the instruction manual that if you do have difficulty taking the neck out of the original Miles, then you will have to heat it up whether with a hair dryer or with some hot water. And then the last unique accessories are this removed mask, which is something that should have come with the last set also because he has a fully unmasked head then, but whatever, nice to play catch up. And also this new alternate hand which is meant to hold the removed mask. All in all, I think these unique accessories are meant to more complete what the other set delivered on, and they managed to include these new accessories in the variant figure that not a lot of people would have gotten if, I think, in my opinion, if it weren't for these unique accessories, since they do look really cool and they kind of elevate the figure to making it look even more perfect. And here they both are standing right beside the stand with the onomatopoeia. By the way, I forgot to mention that the stand actually comes with two arms this time since they knew that one had to be for the effects while the other one could be used to hold the figure in place. So that's very considerate of them bringing in two instead of just one from the previous one. And here is the original Miles Morales with those unique accessories once again. Now I, I changed him down to not have any civilian clothing. So he has the half unmasked head, the mask holding hand, the mask itself, and of course that electricity piece which is looking very beautiful. And this transparent miles stands to about five and a quarter inches. So a shorty just like his original version. For size comparisons, here he is once again next to the Sentinel Miles Morales normal version. Here he is next to the Mafex Venom and Spider-Man comic versions. And last but not least, here he is next to the Marvel Legends and Mafex Black Panther. In conclusion, the Sentinel Miles Morales clear version is pretty cool. Since it's quite similar to the original, the articulation and sculpt of this have the same pros and cons as the last one. The paint job is good, but the accessories are really what sell the set. Without the comical onomatopoeia and extra parts for the original Miles figure, I don't think that this figure would sell as well as the first. But they do come with them, and I think that they were handled beautifully. But at 4,600 pesos, the price is quite high considering what you get. I'd say get this piece if you're a big fan of the movie, but if you're already okay with the OG Miles figure, then this isn't a necessary purchase. But what do you all think? Is this Miles figure worth it? Should you keep it right beside your original Miles figure or are you just getting it for those extra pieces? Let me know in the comments down below and like and subscribe while you're at it. Share this with your friends and be good people I guess.